I consider myself a full spectrum conservative. I mean, first and foremost, I'm a national security uh, conservative who believes that America should be strong, that the best way for us to defeat the threat of Islamic jihadism is to, uh, to be the strongest nation that nobody wants to mess with. Nobody is going to start a war with you if they know they're going to get their butt whipped. They just don't. They start a war, they, they come after you when they don't think you're going to do anything about it. Um, so I think that's first and foremost. Secondly, I, I, I think it's tragic that for the past 40 years, the bottom 90% of American families have had a stagnant wage. And if you stop to think about how just devastating that is to living the American dream, there are a lot of reasons that that's happened, but one of the reasons is is because the instability of the dollar, the fact that it's fluctuated and floated, and we've not uh, we've not recognized how much that matters uh, as inflation and deflation goes up and down, and people's wages uh, they may go up, but then the cost of everything goes up, and they're not getting ahead. So the average American family today actually has twelve hundred dollars a year in less income in, in real income than they did five or six years ago. People can't get ahead when that's happening.